I would say that is a very slippery slope of people bringing their politics to the workplace, creating a uncomfortable work environment. Um, I would even term it toxic work environment. And that needs to not be the case at Harris County. Harris County Precinct 3 Commissioner Tom Ramsey speaking out against the practice of encouraging employees to include preferred personal pronouns when signing their email correspondence. Designations like he, him, she, her, and they, them for those who identify as trans or non-binary. These personal declarations are pushed by some organizations as a means of promoting gender equity and acceptance, and yet Commissioner Ramsey believes this effort at inclusion has the opposite effect on those uncomfortable with or simply opposed to this practice. People, again, just want to make a living. <coughs> they don't want to participate in your political agenda. Panel, here's my question. Is this practice of pronoun declaration inclusive or coercive? Tomorrow, start us off. Okay, I went to a meeting, um, uh, well, I'm not going to say where because they're they going to probably all cringe right now. And when the lady asked me, she said, what's your pronoun? I said, me. She said, no, what's your pronoun? I was like, me? She said, no, do you identify as a male or am I? So what the hell is wrong with you? What makes you think I identify as a male in these six-inch heels and with my breasts that I was born with asking you what the hell I think I am? <laughs> oh, no, she don't mean any harm. I'm offended if you think that after all this time, Working with the makeup, working with the hair, you ask me what you trying to be. Hell, I am me. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, um, this is a this is a personal declaration, and I respect uh, someone and they and what they personally declare. Where the challenge comes in is it being imposed on other people. If you want to send an email, that's that that. Uh, pronounces your pronouns at the end of, in your signature, then that is perfectly fine with you. For for you, I think it it begins to be um, infringing when you're requiring other people to do it, and I even think it's infringing when you require other people to respond to you the way you want them to versus the way that they are familiar with and comfortable with. So I think we have to make sure that we are. If, if we're going to talk about being all inclusive, there may be people who don't feel included in putting pronouns at the, in their signature. Yeah. Uh, in all fairness, we did contact the health department, which was the, the complaint we got at the desk, and they said it's not mandatory, but it's highly encouraged. Well, I, 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 I agree with Mark, because this, this shouldn't be a countywide policy. Those individuals who want to put that at the end of their email, let them do so. But let's get on with the business of doing the business for the county, and right. let's move on. That's a small group, and the majority of the folks have their own pronouns, so just use it. Let's not waste any time on this. Let's, let's move forward. Quickly, Gary. Yeah, this needs to be not be encouraged, but discouraged. I mean, come on. They got work. They got a job to do. In the Again, this goes to the transgender lobby and the things they push. We talked about it a number of times today. None of these things yeah, are good but for But if the Republicans yeah. weren't so homophobic, <laughs> we wouldn't be over here now, right? Mm -hmm. For years denying people the right mm -hmm. to marriage and access mm -hmm. to right. things. And we shouldn't, yeah, that shouldn't minimize it. It was. It was evil. Gotta and we shouldn't break. minimize it. It's Gotta go to